Two benefits of Test Project's SDK are extending commands for Selenium and Appium. Selenium is used for web testing and Appium is used for mobile testing. Our focus will be Selenium. The SDK for Selenium is a wrapper, meaning we have all of the benefits for Selenium plus more commands. I wish a platform like Test Project was around when I started automation because it's good for people who have no knowledge of programming and it's good for people who have knowledge of programming. In this session, I am going to write some commands that look like Selenium. My name is Rex and I like to offer knowledge to our testing community through books, blogs, and videos. If you are new to my videos, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking the bell icon. You can also follow me on Twitter and connect with me on LinkedIn. To get started with Test Project, we must have an account and agent. Then we can download and install the SDK. The installation can be completed using Maven or Gradle. After the installation, we are going to look at the SDK jar file in Maven's dependencies. It's going to show us all kinds of packages and classes. Last, we are going to create a web test using Test Project's SDK. I'm already signed into Test Project and located at the Integrations tab. We see there are five coding languages, Java, c -sharp, JavaScript, Python, and Groovy. These last three languages are gray because they are not available yet. Let's go ahead and download the SDK for Java. While it's downloading, let's go to GitHub. For some examples, scroll down to Java SDK examples. This page has some good information. Copy the dependency for Maven and start using the SDK. Keep the SDK jar. Go to Eclipse and in this palm.xml file, we see there are no other languages, no other dependencies. Paste the dependency for test project SDK. Go to my downloads folder and we have to rename the jar to io dot test project dot sdk copy the path by shift and right click and we also have to change it for gradle control shift f will format the palm.xml file do you see the system path we have to change this to, to the location of our absolute path paste and remove the double quotes go to our project and right click maven update project click ok Look how Maven Dependencies has only one jar file, which is Test Projects SDK. However, when I expand the jar file, we have packages inside of packages. Let's start by going to Selenium. ORG, open QA.Selenium. There it is. We see web driver and web element although this jar file has selenium we are not going to use selenium package for writing our test script we're going to use test projects sdk this sdk also has junit which is one of the test frameworks for java test ng is the other test framework for java our test project.java is the package we need. SDK V2. By the end of this series, 
we are going to use most of these packages except for internal and support. Now, let's get ready to create our web test. We are going to use test projects example page as our AUT. The test script will enter a name, password as 12345, then click the login button. Inspect the web elements. The full name field has a value for name as the ID. Inspect password and we see password as the value for ID. Inspect login button and login button has login as the value for ID. In Eclipse, I have a test class and a class to run the test class. Every test class must implement an interface. We are testing a web application. So, login test implements web test import web test then add the unimplemented method this execute method returns execution result let's write a return statement that says execution result dot passed if you know selenium then the remaining steps will be a piece of cake web driver driver control shift o we see two types but here's the difference selenium is an interface and test project sdk is a class no big deal, but we're going to use the SDK. Do you see the parameter web test helper? Web test helper is a class that provides access to the driver and test resources for the web. We write equal helper dot get driver. Load the example page, driver dot get https colon two forward slashes example test project dot io forward slash web forward slash index dot ht ML. Maximize the window. Driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Next, we enter the full name and password to help with debugging. The SDK provides a test reporter class that extends the reporter class. Right. Test reporter reporter object equals helper dot get reporter import the class. The test reporter class provides access to methods for reporting steps. Get reporter is a method that provides a reporter instance. First step is to reporter dot step. The description. Enter name. 
driver dot find element by ID. The value for ID is name. We're going to enter the full name. So let's send the keys of Rex Jones the second. The second step is to enter the password. So we put reporter dot step. Description, enter password. Driver dot find element by ID. The ID is password. The keys will be one, two, three, four, five. Last step is reporter dot step. Description, click login button. Driver dot find element by ID. The value for ID is log in. And for buttons, we click. These steps will log into the application. Let's confirm we actually log into test project example page. Go back to the AUT and enter James for name, one, two, three, four, five for password, then click. The name is here in the message. Inspect and we see greetings as the value for ID. Go back to Eclipse and write string greeting equal driver dot find element by ID. The value is greetings with an S and we're going to get the text. Let's also print the value sys out greetings. Okay, now we get to the good part. Verify the greeting by writing an a uh, search statement. And we see assertions for test ng and j unit. We're going to use the test ng assert statement by writing greeting dot contain Rex. Look at the import statements. The import statements have test project. We do not see Selenium for the web driver, but we see it for the buy class. We have one Selenium statement and one test ng statement. The last class is the runner class. We have to make sure our test agent is running. So let's write runner, runner, import runner from the test project package, SDK, at before class, public board, set up. Runner dot runner equal runner dot create web. There it is. The developer token got to be retrieved from test project. This method create web create web. It creates the runner and receives the two parameters, a token and a browser type. Go back to the integrations tab. And we get the developer key. Up on the runner, I'm going to write developer key. 
BK equals new developer key. This is the class right here. That class has my token. I add the token to this class because it's a special token that's given to whoever is logged into the application to do add-ons and creating tests. Feel free to paste your token in the developer key or put it right here under developer token. DK dot token. Automated browser type is Chrome. Before class, test ng annotation. Throws declaration for instantiation exception. Now we have our test method at test public void log into example page import the test annotation for test ng log in test log in test as the object new login test cool now we're going to write the runner dot run log in test import what we'll add a throws declaration exception Now we have the after class, public void tear down. Import the annotation, and we're going to close and import. We'll add the throws declaration. Now, let's run. We see the test pass and the three steps. Enter name, pass. Enter password, pass. Click login button, pass. The console shows the print statement. Hello, Rex Jones. Let's complete the test form. We will complete the test form in the next video. I'm going to show you how to take screenshots, reuse the same steps, and generate code without writing your own code. You can do it all through test project.